Welcome to Bungalows for Bachelors. Let's talk countertops today. We have put our cabinets in and it's time to put something on top of them. So what is the countertop? Well, it's the thing that goes on top of the counter, believe it or not. Yes, this is the final surface that's going to make your house and kitchen shine. It's going to be need to resist physical damage, stains, heat, you name it. What kind of kitchen abuse? I don't care if you're slapping your T-bone steak on the counter and chopping it up with a knife. It's going to need to resist all that, right? So that's what the countertop is. It's going to be a very durable surface because that's where a lot of the work is going to be done in the kitchen, right? So now what are some general types of countertops? Now, before I go through this list, I will say that I have left out any countertops that are effectively just not done anymore. Uh, as an example, like ceramic tile countertops. People just don't do tile countertops anymore unless they're feeling a little bit crazy because one, they look old and two, the grout gets dirty really fast, really hard to maintain, really hard to keep clean. And it just makes your house look like it's from the 40s or 50s. So they just don't do it. But getting into the types, we got solid surfacing, marble, granite, wood, soapstone, quartz, quartzite, concrete, and laminates. Those are going to be the basic types that we are talking about today. So let's get right into it. Solid surfacing countertops. So these are kind of cool. Uh, the solid surfacing countertops are uh, an acrylic base, and they, they mix in a bunch of, you know, of course, stone and hardened material uh, to make the like stone look right and some some dyes and stuff but the the nice thing about these is they're very affordable and there's a kind of a cool part is that when you're ordering these you can get them very kind of custom shaped and you can actually integrate a sink into the countertop so it's all the same material so that's pretty cool but uh, yeah that's solid surfacing marble countertops okay these are going to be some of the easier to recognize ones uh, it's very attractive natural material you can see the veining in the uh, in the marble as different minerals and things show um, now marble is porous, so it looks shiny and clean, right? But it is porous, so it will absorb stuff. Um, so you do need to seal the, the, the marble when you put it in new, and you will need to maintain that seal maybe once to twice a year. Um, so you don't get the marble absorbing your wine spills and stuff like that, right? So, um, and marble is not the greatest at uh, resisting heat damage, so you might get some like thermal shock. You see how there's like hot pads underneath those pots and pans, that's because you don't want to put a hot thing on marble, you could damage the marble itself. So don't want to do that. And it, because it looks so nice, uh, marble does come in at quite a high price point. And then there's granite. So uh, the nice thing about granite is that there's a ton of color and finish options. Um, so finish meaning like shine, you can get it in matte, you can get it in gloss. Um, it's just a uh, very, uh, lots of options when it comes to decorating. So if you, if you have a color scheme that requires some special selections, you're trying to, you don't, you don't, you know, you got to deviate away from some natural stone colors, then you've got more options here with granite. Now it is also extremely durable. This is a very hard material. It is, it doesn't require any sealing. It's not porous. So you just slap it on there. It's good to go. It's going to be super tough. And it's very affordable. So if you are the kind of person who likes low maintenance, likes low price, and you're willing to work with this kind of material and, and have this be, and you'll like the look of it, then boom, put this in your house. You're going to be good to go. Granite is a good choice. Now, wood. The first thing to say about wood is this is not going to be the kind of soft woods that you'd see that like you're making your house out of or doing carpentry work with. These are going to be like hardwoods. Uh, you can see like mahogany, um, oak, walnut you can get all kinds of of hardwoods in here as your countertops now they because wood is a natural material that is porous you do have to seal it and of course that will keep the staining from being a big problem but one of the nice things about having a wood countertop is that it can be refinished and resealed so let's say you do something awful to it on the top then you can take everything off the countertop sand the whole thing down and then refinish it and it should look pretty close to being brand new which is really nice and because of the wide range of like types of wood you can get and shapes and everything, this is a it's pretty wide range of pricing. So it can be really expensive or it can be kind of reasonable. Now, soapstone. Soapstone's kind of cool because it doesn't require sealing. Um, and it can get scratched or nicked. So it's not as tough necessarily as some of the other ones. But usually if you kind of get into it with some very fine grit sandpaper, you, you can probably repair that. 
or at least make it not look as bad. But there are not very many visual options with this stone. You can pretty much get it in like gray or whitish or, or black. I mean, it's kind of like whatever the stone comes in, it, it, you know, that's what you got. Not very many options there. Um, and the ceiling is optional. If you do seal it, it tends to darken the stone, uh, make it look a little bit darker at least. But you can also not seal it and just kind of let it age and uh, it'll look a little lighter. It'll still look pretty cool, but that's a, that is a good option. Quartz. Now, let's, uh, we want to differentiate. Oh, look at those donuts. We want to differentiate between the quartz and the quartzite, right? So the quartz is normally referring to the man-made material. So this has been specifically engineered to be an ideal material for countertops. And because of that, it's super durable. It doesn't require sealing. It's pretty resistant to heat damage. And it's super easy to maintain. And it's a reasonable price. So like, it's basically like the all-around game changer um right because we figured out how to make an awesome material out of the cool stuff we know how to do so that's quartz um of course you can check out the colors and options if you don't like how it looks then okay then maybe it's not for you but that is what that is now quartzite is a little different quartzite is the natural stone that is what they're using when they're making quartz countertops but when you're buying quartzite, you're buying the actual stone itself. And this is pretty cool because there's a super wide variety of like textures and tones and, and colors that you can buy this in. Um, it does require sealing. It is porous. Uh, so that's a disadvantage. But it's just another option of a type of stone. If you just like the way it looks, then boom, there you go. Good to go. Now, concrete. Concrete's a little bit older of a style. Uh, not done as much nowadays. But it's really cool because it's super customizable. So... Just like you can pour concrete in any shape, you can pretty much pour it into however you want this thing to go. And you don't you don't just have to pour it like in the house. You can have it built somewhere else and then brought into the house. It'd be really heavy, but you could have it done. But it does tend to be more expensive because it's a more laborious. You know, you've got to set all these like kind of forms and saint and like and, and finish the concrete off and make it look super nice. But uh, the kind of a cool thing about it, it does look very industrial when it's all done. And as it wears down, it will kind of maintain that you know, industrial look is kind of going to get a little chipped in the corners, a little rough, right? Uh, it's pretty, pretty cool for that. But, you know, you do want to make sure you're sealing that because concrete is, Im, Im, not Im, concrete is porous, very much so. So um, it's pretty good at resisting damage when it is sealed. But, and, and of course, like when you're doing concrete, if you've got dyes and colors and tones and stuff you want to do, you can do all of that. You can customize it quite a bit. And then, of course, there's the laminates. Now, laminates are basically going to be a wood base of some kind or an engineered wood base of not, not MDF, but uh, particle board or, or something like that uh, to provide the structure. And they're basically just coating a thin layer of this laminate plastic on top that's been colored to look like something that might be appealing. Like a, maybe it looks like a marble or maybe it looks like a quartz, whatever. Uh, so laminates, they're super affordable. Uh, they're way cheaper than all the other options. Um, it's down to probably like, you know, five to about $5 a square foot or something like that. The other options like marble can be up to $120 a square foot. So it's like crazy difference in price, right? So if you're in a cheap and quick solution, boom, laminate's the way to go. And you can always upgrade your countertops later. So, you know, if you just need to get a build done, boom, get with laminate. Um, it Again, it's a plastic top so don't set hot stuff on it you can melt it you can damage it it can get cut it's not very durable but you know it's the cheapest one and it will provide a decent surface if you treat it and protect it enough so those are the options so if you want to learn more or at least watch how you know it was installed in, in one case you ought to watch the youtube spec house series episode 125 by central craftsman where he gets his countertop installed you should also, to get a little more familiar with, you know, the options, the options are pretty much the same, but everybody kind of has like phrases them differently. But generally you should watch the YouTube video, Popular Kitchen Countertop Options, A Quick Guide by Kitchen Insider. And if you really want to get into a little bit more depth, then you ought to go to the Natural Stone Institute and read their A Homeowner's Guide to Natural Stone Countertop Installation Manual. And it sounds like how to install countertops, which it has some of that in there, but it also goes into a lot of detail on selection of the material. It talks about potential failure points of the material. It's just a way, I mean, it's literally written by the Natural Stone Institute, which it manages all of the use of like stone for residential and commercial applications. So 
that's a good read if you want to some heavier information on on why you're selecting what you're selecting so i'd go with that otherwise boom get those countertops on and you've basically got a kitchen minus your fixtures but we'll talk about that later until then see you on the next one